that was a, that was a kind of crazy game, um, a lot of back and forth. I, I, probably most importantly, I'd like to say is how proud I am of our team and our guys. Um, you know, it, it, there's, there's obviously been, we've been hitting the mouth several times. And, um, I, I felt all week long we prepared really well for this game. I, I had a good feeling about the game. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, you go to about the first five minutes of the game, you're saying, well, "Where was that good feeling you had?" Because it, it did not start very well, and you know, it, it's just one of those things. I don't know, little plays here and there, but, but it, it turned on us quick, and uh, and it's just a, a credit to our kids, their resiliency, to um, just see it through. I mean, there was times that the defense needed to get picked up by the offense. There was times that you know, the offense needed to get picked up by the defense. I think special teams made some some critical big plays in that game that were were, were huge for us. So it, it was a team. Team win for sure. Um, a lot of guys played in that game that hadn't played much this year intently. I mean, we, we made it that way. I, I, I was just, I wanted our whole team to come together and find a way as a team to go fight, scratch, claw, and find a way to get a win. And, and, and sometimes when you're in a, in a little bit of a slump, there's a hard things to come by. And, um, you know, and that's what it took today. It took every ounce of everything we had to go get that done. And I'm just, uh, I'm so proud of our guys, man. They, 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 they hung in there and prepared the right way and went out and, and put it on the field. DJ, you said this week that you felt like there was going to be a breakthrough, especially with your defense. Um, did you kind of find it fitting that you know the unit was out there to end the game and to 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 respond like that? Yeah, I, it, it was it was a great way to end it. I mean, obviously, I, I didn't like to end it with a first down on offense and then go, go kneel, but you know that's the way it goes. And uh, and yeah, they did a great job there finishing it off. And I thought, I mean, there were times obviously to start this game we didn't play very well. And, Dumb penalties and, and missed tackles, and there's plenty to clean up. But but I, the, the thing I love is there was there was a lot of times we needed stops where that game could have, could have got out of hand on us if we didn't. And we got those stops and we finished out the first half playing really well. And um, you know, so it, it, it's something to build on. I mean, it's just it's, it just keep getting better. Right? That's what it's all about. Just find a way to get better. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Coach, uh, the pass rush has had issues this fall. You guys get five sacks today with Rams. What was the key to containing them? What was the key to getting them down? Effort. Just effort just one, two. I mean, I, our, our coaching staff does a great job preparing guys, and I, I think you know we had some good, a good plan, but it, it, it wasn't that. It was just, it was just effort. It was just like uh, enough is enough. Let's, let's, let's go get there. Let's go fight someone and get there. Can you talk about the two plays that uh, Savage made in the first half and sort of kept you in the game? Yeah, the Darnell, I mean, he, he's been tremendous for us. Really, all year long, he's been consistent. Um, he's had several interceptions. That, that, that was obviously a big play in the game. And then his block punt was uh, that, that was big. And he blocked it in and scooped up and scored. You know, it just just tells you there's a guy that plays every snap of defense. I think he's been on every snap of defense this whole, whole year, maybe except a handful of he was dinged up or something. And um, and he always contributes on special teams too. Yeah. In terms of keeping you in the game, I mean, I guess it was 67. It seemed that that safety. Momentum you had, a little bit of momentum that swung away, and that play sort of got back. Yeah, sure. You know, there were a lot of back and forth in that game. There was, you know, um, yeah, a lot of momentum swings. That's, that's, that's part of it. But like I said, I just, our guys never, they never lost that look about them. They had that look about them. I, I just, we had a good feeling all week long. This morning, we, we had that look about us, like, you know, we're going to go do something. And they, they didn't lose it during the game. You know, even when there, when there was time, like I said, the way that game started, it didn't, it didn't feel right. But, um, Coach, can you talk about the lift that gave the team to see Melvin Kane, Andrew Isaacs, Anna McLean had a tackle? What's that do for the morale of the team when these guys get in and start to make plays? Yeah, I think you said it. That, that, that was um, emphasis they had all week long. It, it was, I, 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 I want to play more guys, get more guys involved, get them out there, get, get them, you know, um, being a part of it. We got we got a great team, a group of guys that been hanging together and. And even the guys that aren't playing much, they're still into it on the sideline. But I just think it, 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 it builds the team. Um, you know, there, there was, you know, there were several guys on special teams that played much for us too that, that hadn't even played. There's there, there some guys that were walk-on guys that we played that game. We, we, we played them. Just said no more. Like let's practice, see if they're ready. Maybe just just go play, let it loose, and uh, 
And they did, and a lot of those guys stepped up big for us. Coach, you're right. Uh, special teams played a huge role. Uh, you blocked the kick, two kicks, actually, uh, and that 82-yard kickoff return by Lee was huge. Uh, you know, sometimes special teams decide a game that you feel that that was part of it today. It was, it was big, really big. I think the block call was huge at the time of the game. We needed, we needed a, a play going our way. Um, and then, you know, Javon's return, man, he, he was a like shot out of a can of that guy. He's something special. And then he, and he had a big hit on kickoff, too. I, I thought it was a great play in the game. And um, the field goal block, I mean, we, we were close on, I don't know, three or four of them. And we, we finally got through on, on the extra point, which which did all, you know, it, it still made that, you know, it didn't come down to that. It made a three point game. You know, which they, they make that's a two-point. Now they're driving for a field goal to go for the win. You know, all, all those those little things, and, and there were several conversations as we were scoring: should we go for two? Should we not? I, I just think they're always chasing that. We just, we just kept kicking it to stay on, on rhythm with the game, and um, you know, it, it, it ended up right for us. Just to follow up, you mentioned the fourth and two. Uh, when you when you punted, were you thinking of going for it at that point? And, and Trying to end the game, or was that just gamesmanship, and you knew you were going to punt? And and obviously, it was a pretty good decision. Come on, no, I'm not going to tell you that here. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a heck of a call by one for me in the game right there, right? Or you there? Tell me, what were you thinking? Uh, you know, it, it, we had an opportunity on that play. We we mishandled the the, the, uh, the handoff. If, if we keep it, it's a it's a first down. We do it in the game, and so. You know, but no, I was, I was running the clock there, just trying to take as much off as we can. How about that punt away right there? I mean, that, that was huge. It pins them down on the one yard line. Um, you know, their, their punt return has two, they had two touchdowns going to the game. It was the top, the top guy in the conference coming into it. And our punt team did a great job. I mean, Wade swung on the field. There's another one. Jake Funk went down there and made a big tackle on a punt. And again, it's just you know, guys stepped up and made the plays. Did you out? How tough was it to just manage emotions? Uh, you know, it seemed like it was chippy, that there was a lot of controversial calls, especially in the second half there. Uh, was that something that you kind of had to gauge today? Yeah, I mean, there's things we definitely need to clean up as a team. There, there, were, there were some plays where, you know, it, it's on us. There, there are also some plays out there that just, it, it's a head scratcher. And so controlling emotions, you know, um, yeah, I guess a little bit, but it's an emotional game. You know, um, I need to control my emotions better. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I there was a point that I, I was, it, some of those calls were just, I mean, amazing. But it is what it is. And I, I, I got Davis Gator, hold him up. I said, I said, all right, I, I got you. Because I, I saw all the time, no one's worth 15 yards, including me. And I got us 15 on that. So I said, you got to have my back. And they did. They did. We stopped them on that drive. And, and, and the guy stepped up because it, it's not, I shouldn't have done that. Not worth it, but but man, I mean, there, there, there's some calls there that just, you know, it is what it is. It, it goes both ways, and uh, it's certainly not not you know what we're gonna say besides the game or anything. And, and we gotta do our part with our guys of, of you know cleaning some things up and, and coaching. You know. Coach uh, Max kind of had a rough start, but then he bounced back. Uh, could you talk about his outing today? Uh, you know, he kind of really settled down after the first possession. Yeah, I, you know what? I don't even. Um, there's the numbers really. I, I look at the stats. You know, I just think Max, you know, he's just he's calm, he's tough, he just he executes well for us, he you know, communicates well, gets sent out of the way calls. But I, I I've seen Max improve and get better and better each game. Um, as you would hope, you, you would think that be, you know, as he's playing more snaps and, and getting all the reps of the ones and everything else, you know, and he, he's he's doing that. He's really taking ownership of the job. Um, and so I, mean, I think, you know, it's helped us when we're you know, obviously we're able to run the ball and, and throw Berkeley down the field. You know, it opens things up offensively. Take two more, Don. I know you only look one week at a time, but in terms of a win like this, when you have coming off a three-game losing streak, how, how important is that just in terms of going forward and, and, and you know, having things to play for and all that? Um, yeah, but it's, it's huge. You've got to find a way to get the first one. Man. I, I, you know, I, I talk to you guys about that. It, 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 like, you got to go like find a way to get it. it it's hard when you, when, when you get in that slump. I mean, the difference between winning and losing is very small. And, and, and sometimes when we're losing into that, it, it seems almost insurmountable. And it's just like you know, you got to make your own breaks. You got to make your own. You can't you know, well, the call went this way. It's just got you got to find a way. And that's what we did today. And then when you do that, yeah, that's not, that you get the, the, get a swing your way. And hopefully you, you build on that. Now you're on that end of it this way. 
because it's a fine line. I mean, what are you losing? Is, is there's not much, um, you know, separating. It. So yeah, that, that's that, that's the thought now. I mean, you get a group of guys that did work the right way, prepared the right way, and they went and had success. And now you got to go repeat it. That, that, that's the sport we play. I mean, it's back to work in tomorrow, and you got to do the same thing over again and get yourself in the right spot for next week. Coach, early in the game on a couple of those scoring drives for Indiana, they were able to convert on third downs and, and keep the drives going. But as the game went along, defense was able to get stops on third down. What adjustments went into getting those stops? Just clean some things up and just, you know, just um, talk about how they're trying to attack us on it and, and just clean some things up. I, you know, third downs are huge, obviously. And, uh, and, you know, that's something we emphasize and talk about all week. And write a couple of little ones that they got us on it. And, only two penalties in a row on it. I mean, it's just, just crazy. But, but again, I, I think I attribute that to our guys were amped up and ready to play. So I, I, I didn't. There was no like yelling, and screaming, or what are you doing? I was like, okay. I mean, like our guys were ready to play, and they, they were into it. So I mean, it's just those are things we got we to learn. And we obviously, you can't do that all the time. But, but to clean it up. I'd rather have a team that you have to slow down, or you know, rather than speed up. So um, third down's been big. The games that we've, we've done well on third down have been good for us. Obviously, the opposite. Well, I'll play it from the